What's up guys, Vitality Edit here, bringing you a tutorial, my first tutorial on how to do a pop-out logo such as this. So, um, let's just get right to it, you know, it's pretty cool. So we're just going to delete these. So we have this, or you get your PSD out, whatever you're going to use, let me delete this color correction. Just to bring up some colors, that's what I use. This is my AVI pack that I have. It's on my store, so you know, just go check it out. Probably gonna be like two, three bucks, but it has some really good stuff. So, look, I'll just get in here. So, these are called renders. If you didn't know, they're just so you know, they're just like characters, whatever the fuck you want. You know, we got all this crazy type of shit. So, depending on your logo, it just you know, it just depends what you want to use. Uh, let me just look for one that I like. Uh, mm, you know what? So you can either get your renders off of a pack like mine or something, or you can also get them off Google or something. So, give me a sec. I was just checking out this guy's portfolio. See what you want to do is you want to go to Google. Now I'll type in. So, um, let me see. I'll just type in like portal to robot render. Make sure you want to have that render part because I'll show you why. Let me let this load up. You want to make sure that the, this checkered background is there because that's what makes it transparent and that's what you need a transparent background that's the most important part about this so yeah sorry I'm choosing well sorry I'm taking forever to get a good render it's just that I like I don't like having shit renders right, this one looks pretty good I'll just use this one so if you just want to bring it over your PSD this is just called Sorbimo because this is for this is just a logo I made an easy example so you just want to scale it down to about the size you want it. Make sure to hold shift. You know, it's like a little pro tip. Hold shift when scaling so it gets it equal on all sides. Um, this looks pretty good. So we've got, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your image. You want to create a clip. No. Rasterize it. This button right here. Then you are going to want to create a clipping mask. Yeah, that that's. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so just disable your layer style. Disable your layer style on that. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to. This is what I prefer to do because it's just the way I make my logos. A lot of this is with the pen tool, so you're gonna want to lower the opacity a bit to about just so you can see it. You're just gonna want to pan out, especially if it's a 3D logo. You want to pan out these parts so you can see the extruded part right here. If not, then the logo is gonna be covering that, and it's gonna look really, really bad. So it's, I know it's gonna be a little bit boring right here. Wait up, deselect. I know, guys. Don't worry. Just bear with me here. Uh, part's not that bad. You know, it's just it's just the way I make my logos because um, I see people trying to make like pop out logos or whatever, and oh my god, it's just a nightmare, nightmare because I know how you know they should be made or how they should look, and then they just look so bad. And doing this on the. Uh, on the one that's already clip, uh, you know, clip master or whatever, it's gonna make it look a lot better in your end product. So you know, this is, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not, I'm really not taking my time. You should take your time on this. Don't rush it like I am. I'm just, I'm just trying to do this for the sake of tutorial time. And then you just wanna lower, bring back the opacity. Oh fuck, that looks like shit right there. Mm, whatever. Just as I said, do it better than me. 
Take your time. You do not want this at all. It makes it look bad. So basically, you just want to duplicate it. You don't want to re release the clipping mask. And then, if it has a watermark like this, just pen it out. Just, and then you want to make selection. Okay. Backspace delete. And then you keep pressing the wrong shit. And then you want to fill screen. Command R. Wait, fifth screen. Sorry. So, you know, there you go. You got that. That's just the basics of it. But now you have this. You know, you can't even tell what logo it is. So you just want to want to lower the opacity again, as I did before. You're going to want to zoom in. And then repeat the pen out part. So you want to hide this layer by clicking on that little eyeball right there. And this shape is really easy to pen out. So you just boom. 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 Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, guys, while I do this boring pen crap, just tell me what you guys want from me on my channel, like more edits, you guys want more speed arts, do you guys want tutorials, I can do like uh, an editing tutorial too, like, you know, how do I make a color correction or something, how to, how to sync, even though I suck at syncing, uh, or how to do an like an effect or something, or just the basics of After Effects. Or the basics of Photoshop and stuff. Yeah, guys, remember to check out my store in the description, Twitter and stuff. Alright, so after you have that penned out, you want to bring the opacity back up. Check if you left anything out. So that's what I. And then, bam. Fit screen. V. Alright, so there you go. That's how you get your pop out logo. Looks. No, it looks alright, and it could have been it could have been done better. But now it's like one of those things that I hate, which is. So let me see, green overlay. So now to f you you have I like to fill in my backgrounds, so that's like a predator guy. So I'll just put like a, I'll look for this. You go on Google, put like a jungle. Back. This is for the people going on Google or who didn't get my pack. I just want to go off Google. Yeah. So you basically look for your backdrop or whatever. I have one in my pack, so I'm just going to use that. I was going to use music in the background, but Camtasia doesn't like music, so I couldn't use it. So, like, these are all like. Oh, I, I like these stocks a lot, but each one. It's for the, its own background, if you if you get me. Sorry, I've been singing that song <clears throat> all day. Game stocks too, I think. Now these this is more like anime stuff right here. So let me show you. Yeah, that that's that's game stocks too. Uh, I'm trying to find this crap. Oh, jungle fire. Right here. See, this kind of goes with that theme because have you seen like a pre I forgot I think it's the most recent Predator movie mm, I can't remember what it, it's wait, it's like full name wait let me just take out this ruler shit so yeah what you want to do is you want to center it to about I kind of want it like there and then you just want to drag it under that original clipping mask so you can see it like this you see I'm um, gonna want to get that tree right there so then what you want to do is, you know, I need to simply this gradient because I don't like it. You're just going to do this. You want to lower the opacity. And sometimes, some logos, this will work. Where all you have to do is just do overlay. But you see, this logo won't work because it's blue and it's just not, like, colored enough. So, and then people usually just leave it like that and they're like, up, oh, done. No, I fucking hate that. In the jungle, the merry jungle. So you just want to, you know, take this off. Make sure this is rasterized and selected. Because if, if you don't rasterize it, then you will not be able to pen it out. You know, warning or something. I'm just going to warn you guys. And then I just fucked this shit up. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. 
so yeah, this is just like the basics of it. I'm not gonna like tell you guys how I always do my. I do mine in like different ways and stuff. And there's secrets that I just don't like that I don't want to tell anybody because then everybody's gonna be able to do them. Which is why I don't. I didn't want to make a tutorial in the first place because people have been attempting to and they just don't get it right. And they'll like be like, "Yo, can I join B?" And then I look at their portfolio. They'll try to make a pop out logo and it ends up looking really bad. And then I'm just like, you know, sorry. So yeah, remember to take your time, like, honestly. If you don't take your time, it's gonna end up looking super shitty. So, by the way, this is my first take out of commentary, so. If it's bad, now you know why. If you wanna make selection, make sure feather radius is zero, and say list, blah, blah, blah. Okay? Bam. Did it work? Bam. Okay, just want to make sure it works like that. So then you want to go here now. It's pretty, pretty easy. I bet like if any pros are watching this, they're like, "You're fucking not panning right." Well, that's just me. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. All right, so make selection. Beam. Yeah, you want to make sure it didn't work. I don't know, for some reason, it doesn't work when I do that. So, bam. And then, you want to just come over here. So, yeah, a lot of this is just personal preference on stocks you use. Well, you know, like, yeah, you get me. Oh, wait, shit, that one's too up. And I'm just looking over my path to make sure I did it all right. Make selection, blah, bam. So that's about it. Let me just bring up the opacity and check how it is. So yeah, that's about it. You see, it looks like predator guys fucking in the jungle or something. And then this CC is what I use for logos. It makes it look like it's all together and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, and then I, this is the layer style that I use. It's like super secret. I'm going to give you guys the settings. You guys can just pause the video, check them out, check out the settings. Uh, let me just do this. Um, there you go, it's four color gradient. There's a drop shadow. Cancel. And is and then you know that's what I use. <clears throat> so yeah, my pack will be on the st on my store for about three. It will be priced at around three dollars. So just tell me when you want to check it. Just you know check it out in the description. All my links will be there. Orders as well some color crickens that I use but these are more for backgrounds than anything um so yeah